Quantum Capitalist by Renee Garcia. From poverty psychology to wealth using practical quantum mechanics. Lesson 21. The Upward Spiral. Alrighty, let's say goodbye to the gloom and zoom into the exhilarating essence of the system. Welcome to the Upward Spiral, the shining gem of quantum capitalism. Here, we're not just meandering along mundane paths. We're blasting off towards celestial heights, where we connect with higher variations of reality, upper sectors, and serendipitous events that take us where we want to go. Strap in, because we're about to soar beyond the bounds of gravity. Envision the upward spiral as the quantum field's ultimate thrill ride a journey filled with exhilarating turns of events and intentions materializing before your very eyes. Here, you're perfectly attuned to the quantum field's rhythm, channeling your energy to launch into the upper realms of possibility where opportunities don't just tap on your door, they roll out the red carpet and celebrate your arrival. Our previous lessons? They were the runway to this grand takeoff. From honing your mindset to unloading past traumas, who needs extra baggage and zero gravity, right? Every tool, insight, and aha moment has been gearing you up for this ascent. Once you shed the shackles of internal and external obstacles, you're as light as a feather, bursting with energy, ready to explore higher sectors and embark on new adventures. Prepare for liftoff. Recall the sectors of reality lined up from the penthouse at level 10 to the depths of despair at level one. And those four dynamos from our four qualifiers session, guiding theory, thoughts, action, and frequency. They're not just theoretical concepts. They're the rocket fuel for your journey on the upward spiral, doubling as a force field against the drag of black holes and gravity. Let's refresh our memory of the essence of these pillars. Guiding theory. This is your master plan in the quantum field, your blueprint, your North Star. Embrace the belief that you are the master builder of your reality. With a guiding theory aimed upward, you're already good to go. Thoughts. Consider these your sculpting tools, like ripples across sectors. They shape your surroundings. Opt for thoughts drenched in everything you intend, everything you like, everything that is working, and all that is good in your sector of reality. This tunes you into the frequency of the upward spiral. Action. This is the engine of progress. Without it, potential remains untapped. Energize those vibrant thoughts with bold, intentional moves. Seize fresh opportunities. Watch as your path naturally aligns with the upward spiral's ascent. Unsure of your next step or can't spot new horizons. Keep your four qualifiers aligned and watch as pathways unfold before you. Action is your ticket to higher altitudes. Frequency, your secret weapon, the silent force. Reflect on the aura you emit. Cultivating an energetic transmission that aligns with the positive attributes of your current sector is key. Your frequency not only wards off black holes, but also irresistibly draws in opportunities. With the four qualifiers fine-tuned, you're not just starting the upward spiral. You're donning an unbreakable armor, immune to any downward forces. Those black holes? They're mere specks on your interstellar dashboard. So, are you ready to steer your guiding theory? Thoughts, action, and frequency? Are you set to wave goodbye to black holes and embrace the upward spiral, transforming into a powerhouse quantum capitalist? Consider this, you've been navigating without a map, but now, with your destination on lock, you can expertly manage your internal landscape and external influences, keeping your eyes on the prize just as negative experiences seem to snowball with the downward spiral, the same exponential growth 
happens with this upward counter movement. Just like a stubbed toe can lead to a series of misfortunes, finding a coin can spark a chain of positivity if you maintain your focus there. Higher insights, innovative ideas, lucrative gains, and positive encounters with all that will assist you on your journey are just a few of the treasures you'll unlock on this ride. The key is to deflect the negative and keep your qualifiers and intentions aligned with the upward spiral. Envision a spiral in motion. It begins modestly, but gains momentum as it expands. Energy is constant, and matter is always in motion. Propel yourself in a positive direction, maintain this trajectory, and watch as your momentum builds, elevating you to greater heights. The money shot. Rise and thrive. The upward spiral is where real financial transformation happens. It's not just a concept. It's the highway to wealth, comfort, and security. Imagine trading in debts and scarcity for a life overflowing with opportunities and prosperity on your terms. Think of it as your personal accelerator, pushing you towards the horizon of financial freedom and stability. The downward spiral? That's the past, a distant memory. Ahead is a clear path paved by your newfound guiding theory, thoughts, action, and frequency. These aren't just buzzwords. They are the essential gears accelerating your success. The upward spiral isn't about hoping for better. It's about creating better. This is where you take control. Because with the upward spiral, you're not just dreaming of a richer life, you're designing it. Remember, the power to elevate your life to secure a future of prosperity is entirely in your four qualifiers. The recap. With the upward spiral's potent quartet, guiding theory, thoughts, action, and frequency, you're plotting a course for new paths to prosperity. These pillars serve as both your map and armor, shielding you from pitfalls and propelling you towards the pinnacles of success. Poke the brain. When was the last time you were on an upward spiral and didn't even realize it was happening? What black hole then sucked you into its vortex, ending your ride prematurely? Your next power move, juggernaut journal exercise, the four qualifier diagnostic. All right, quantum capitalist, it's time to put your spacecraft through a diagnostic. If you find yourself drifting rather than soaring, one of your four qualifiers might just be off kilter. This exercise will help you spotlight that misalignment and recalibrate, ensuring you're firing on all cylinders. Let's say you dream of owning a bakery. First, define and visualize. Grab your juggernaut journal. Create a quadrant, labeling each quarter with one of the four qualifiers, guiding theory, thoughts, action, and frequency. Guiding theory. What's the overarching belief fueling your journey? Write it in this section. Example. I am destined to be the most successful bread maker in town. Thoughts. List down the top five thoughts associated with your guiding theory. Are they in alignment or are they contradictory? Example. Every loaf I make will be loved by everyone. Action. Here's where the rubber meets the road. Jot down the tangible steps you've taken or plan to take. Have you secured a lease? Created a business plan? Hired staff? Frequency. This is the energy you project. How are you feeling about your journey? Excited? Doubtful? List emotions and factors that might be influencing your frequency like that evening wine that has you down a few notches the next morning. Now, diagnose the disconnect. Look at your quadrant. Is one section noticeably weaker or more uncertain than the others? Maybe your thoughts are on point, but your actions aren't matching up. Or perhaps your guiding theory is strong, but your frequency, affected by external factors, 
is lagging. Circle the weak links. Time for your action plan for alignment. Now, for the circled qualifiers, jot down at least three concrete steps to strengthen them and get them back in alignment. If it's action, maybe it's about finally signing the lease for the bakery or joining a baking masterclass. If it's frequency, perhaps it's time to reconsider that nightly wine and replace it with a revitalizing evening ritual that keeps your energy high and resonant. Complete this exercise, and you'll have not only identified the misaligned qualifier, but also set forth a roadmap to steer back on track and soar with the upward spiral. Remember, quantum capitalist, every tweak, every realignment catapults you closer to your desired destination. Lesson 22, The Cosmic Comet of Fortune. Having explored the steady climb of the upward spiral, we now turn our attention to an even more exhilarating phenomenon, the Cosmic Comet of Fortune. This isn't just about maintaining a positive trajectory. It's about catching a wave of extraordinary, condensed success that amplifies the journey. Picture this. You're on your upward spiral, aligning your four qualifiers, when suddenly you tap into something more intense, more immediate, the cosmic comet. It's a cascade of serendipitous winds and opportunities, materializing as if the universe itself is conspiring in your favor. This isn't a fairy tale. It's a real, tangible burst of fortune that can manifest in myriad ways. Be it the perfect networking connection, the right amount of capital at the right time, or even a surprise vacation win. Think of the Cosmic Comet as a series of fortunate events, supercharged and condensed into a short time frame. It's like catching a golden streak where everything you touch turns to success. But beware, this isn't an everlasting joyride. Much like a limited edition sneaker drop, the Cosmic Comet is here in a flash and gone the next. Yet, what if you could extend this thrilling ride? Here's the twist. The Cosmic Comet of Fortune is the quantum field's nod to those who excel in the game of quantum capitalism. But, as with any game, there are strategies to maximize your chances. Your Comet Cheat Sheet. Align your four qualifiers. Ensure your internal operating system is up to date. Negativity, inaction, and low energy won't summon the comet. It's time for an upgrade if needed. Spot the spark. It starts with acknowledging the small wins. Found a quarter on the street? Celebrate it. These small moments are the quantum field's teasers, hints of the comet's trail. Focus on these mini triumphs and watch them snowball into grand victories. Fuel the ride. Once you're on the comet, keep the momentum. Maintain a positive outlook, engage in high energy actions, and steer clear of negativity and mental clutter. Graceful exits. Like all spectacular events, the comet's ride will eventually end. When it does, don't lament. Instead, recharge, stay alert, and be ready for the next cosmic opportunity. Remember, the Cosmic Comet of Fortune is a magical, yet fleeting experience. Unlike the steady progression of the upward spiral, the comet offers a high-speed, high-intensity burst of winds and opportunities. It's a testament to the power of focused energy and alignment. Keep your eyes open, your spirit ready, and who knows, the next Cosmic Comet might just be waiting for you to hop on and ride it to your next quantum leap in success. The money shot, your cosmic jackpot. Beyond the playful metaphors and catchy phrases, there lies a profound truth. The cosmic comet isn't mere fantasy. It's an embodiment of how success compounds, how ideas crystallize into material reality, and how wealth begins to form. The patterns we're discussing here aren't just abstract concepts. They are time-tested principles upon which empires, both large and small, 
are built. By aligning with these principles and maintaining a focus on what you put out into the world, you're not just playing at success. You're constructing the foundations of lasting prosperity. This isn't just about immediate gratification. It's about building your legacy. As you grow in awareness and continuously align with your ambitions in concrete, actionable ways, you'll find that the cosmic comet isn't a rare visitor. It becomes a frequent spectacle, dancing brilliantly across the horizon of your sector. Stay vigilant, stay aligned, and watch as the quantum field rewards your diligence with a wealth that transcends what you once believed was possible. The recap, the cosmic comet, your ticket to the universe's elite circle. It's a simple formula. Ride the upward spiral with unyielding positivity and you could extend your journey on this comet of fortune. But beware, black holes are lurking, ready to disrupt your cosmic parade. Poke the brain. Ask yourself, what can I do right now to sync up with the cosmic comet's energy and dodge those pesky black holes? Your next power move, cosmic comet visualization exercise. Before we get started, let me just say, I know how this all sounds. I can hear you now. Come on, for real? Yes, for real. I know it sounds woo as fuck, but hold up. What would it hurt to try? What have you got to lose? Don't knock it until you've caught it. Embrace the cosmic connection. Find a peaceful spot to sit or recline. Gently close your eyes. Imagine the boundless universe above, a tapestry of twinkling stars. Amongst them, the cosmic comet blazes forth, its tail a shimmering spectacle of light. Inhale deeply and envision the comet's radiant energy descending like a celestial waterfall, a fusion of gold and silver brilliance embracing you in its cosmic glow. Infuse and intensify. Sense this celestial light permeating every part of you, transforming you into a magnet for success and prosperity. With each breath, this luminous energy intensifies, creating an aura of limitless opportunities and fortune around you. Embrace the universe's offerings. Whisper to yourself, I am open and ready for the quantum field's opportunities and the abundance they bring. I welcome the success that is flowing my way. Feel a subtle vibration of energy as the quantum field responds to your openness. Take a profound breath, and as you exhale, imagine this cosmic energy grounding you in a new reality where success and prosperity are your constant companions. Gently open your eyes, step into your day with the cosmic comet's radiant energy, and the assurance that the quantum field is bolstering your every stride towards triumph. Lesson 23, the quantum flow. Have you got all that? Picture the sectors of reality as unique layers within the quantum field. Remember, matter is always in motion. You're either spiraling up or spiraling down. Calibrate your four qualifiers to guide your trajectory. Outmaneuver those pesky black holes. Keep your importance and disproportionate energy balanced, or you might get snagged by gravity, pulling you into the depths of lower sectors. Ready for yet another angle to this knowledge. The quantum flow. It's the quantum field's heartbeat, the undiluted rhythm of reality itself. Here's where genuine breakthroughs, elevated solutions, and deep insights catapult you to realms you've only dreamed of. But watch out, the matrix is clingy. It tries to shackle you to the mundane, obscuring the breathtaking vistas the quantum flow offers. What exactly is the quantum flow? Picture the quantum field as an intricate tapestry. 
rich with interwoven threads of data, events, and insights. It's the energetic Autobahn, ushering reality forward, a fast track to those loftier destinations. For instance, picture a night when you're awake in bed, contemplating a lofty desire, like backpacking through the Himalayas. Your heart ignites with enthusiasm, but your mind quickly chimes in, nah, too crazy. Yet, the next day, a friend calls, relaying that her divorce is almost final, and she's ready to embark on an epic adventure. Then, an unexpected email about discounted flights, and a surprise bonus, converging at the perfect time, leads you to make the leap. These seemingly random occurrences are the quantum flow in action, inviting you to engage with a specific stream of reality. These currents are omnipresent, and recognizing their patterns opens up a world of opportunities. The quantum flow facilitates the realization of your aspirations with less independent effort in solving problems or planning. It's akin to a luxurious, train car of knowledge, insights, and serendipity, waiting for you to hop on and enjoy the ride towards your higher destinations and goals. However, be mindful. The Matrix seeks to derail this journey, thriving on your stagnation and distraction. Here's the lowdown. The flow isn't just about a lucky break here and there. It's a transformative force. The golden threads of the quantum flow are your ticket to realities beyond your wildest imagination. But often, we're stuck outside, hypnotized by the Matrix's repetitive beats, blind to the possibilities. Sinking with the quantum flow doesn't just tweak the game, it reinvents it. It's open to anyone bold enough to defy the Matrix and embrace the quantum currents. Simple, right? Quantum capitalism is all about recognizing and acting on this flow. Welcome to the next level. But let's face it, many are blind to this cache of insights and effortless paths. The matrix, along with our own doubts, often clouds our judgment. Yet, your intuition, your gut feeling, is your hidden ace. Are you ready to trust it more? Next time you stumble upon something that feels like a game changer, ask yourself, is this lifting me up or just more of the same? The Quantum Flow is your VIP pass to the hottest interstellar nightclub. It's where big ideas strike, opportunities glow red hot, and genius is unleashed. Your intellect is mighty, but it's your heart and soul that unlock the quantum flow. So, what's it going to be? Stuck in the Matrix's echo chamber, or surfing the quantum flow? Meet Max. Max, a patron of reality's well-trodden paths in his quaint, predictable hometown. Life here ticks by like a metronome. Steady, unchanging, and to Max, increasingly monotonous. His dreams, once vivid and daring, now hang like faded movie posters on the walls of his mind. Max's existence is comfortable, yet it feels like a vortex of unfulfilled potential. One evening, as Max sifts through the mundane, he stumbles upon a serendipitous invitation, an opportunity to house it in a thriving metropolis, a stark contrast to his small-town cocoon. His heart skips a beat with excitement yet his mind reels with cautionary tales. It's a leap into the unknown, it warns. But beneath the chatter, a whisper from the depths of his being nudges him towards this unforeseen adventure. It's the quantum flow in action, calling him to a stream of reality rich with untapped possibilities. Braving the unknown, Max steps into the city, a pulsating canvas of lights, sounds, and ceaseless energy. It's a symphony of chaos and harmony, and Max finds himself irresistibly drawn to its rhythm. 
the city, with its endless avenues and kaleidoscopic sights, breathes life into Max's dormant aspirations. In this vibrant landscape, Max crosses paths with Ava, a beacon of creativity and zest. She's a soul sculpted by the city's relentless dynamism, her spirit a dance of light and shadow. Ava's world is a revelation to Max, a realm where passion and purpose intertwine. In her, Max discovers not just a partner, but a kindred spirit who echoes the adventurous call of the quantum flow. Ava introduces Max to a professional opportunity that lies in the heart of the city's creative vortex, a sector he'd never dared explore. It's a realm that challenges and exhilarates him. Aligning with the newfound vibrancy within, Max finds himself not just embracing a new job title, but stepping into a reality where his dormant talents and fresh passions converge. In this bustling metropolis, Amidst the whirl of new experiences and the warmth of newfound love, Max's life transforms. He sheds the skin of his former self. Once confined to the predictable lanes of his hometown, Max now rides the quantum flow, a mover and shaker, in a reality where every day is a canvas of possibilities. Max's story is a vibrant tale of change, a journey from the static shores of comfort to the dynamic waves of the unknown. It's a tale that weaves the magic of the quantum flow. A reminder that sometimes, the greatest discoveries lie just beyond the edge of our familiar world. In embracing the unknown and trusting the cosmic currents, Max finds not just fulfillment, but a profound reconnection with the dreams he once thought lost. The money shot. Who's ready to flow like a motherfucker? pumped and ready to reshape your reality? Take that plunge into the quantum flow. It's the Wall Street for your dreams. And guess what? The market's booming. Toss out that rule book and let's play quantum capitalism. It's the only game where everyone's winning. The peace du resistance of quantum capitalism, it's the flow, baby. With your quantum self firing on all cylinders, and your connection to the quantum field on lock. Life isn't just flowing, it's flooding. And the vision, HD clarity. If you're not living your ideal reality, perhaps you've tapped out your current sector. The flow's got what you need. Our upcoming lessons will guide you out of the stale and into a current rich with everything you desire. The recap. Ready for an extraordinary journey? The quantum flow is your ticket, slicing through the matrix's drama, guiding you into the quantum field's shimmering paths. Sync up with this expressway of higher insights, and you step out of the matrix's prefabricated realities and into the realm of infinite possibilities. Poke the brain. Think about the last time the quantum flow beckoned, but you hesitated. What opportunities did you overlook and why? Your next power move, spotting the currents. One, matrix illusions versus golden threads. Remember that time the quantum field dangled an unconventional solution, a fresh path, or an alternate answer to your dilemma? Did you grab it or did you dismiss it, trusting your own logic or buying into societal skepticism? Perhaps you wrote off the chance as unrealistic or not meant for you. What held you back? Fear, skepticism, or maybe a bit of arrogance? Understanding this primes you to seize these golden moments in the future. Two, embracing the quantum flow. Recall when you felt in sync with a higher wisdom. Maybe it was an intuitive hit, a creative burst, or a solution that just clicked. How did this alignment benefit you? Notice the shifts and outcomes when you're in tune with this higher flow. Three, the comfort zone dilemma. Pinpoint something in your life that you're clutching tightly. It could be your job, a relationship, 
a routine. Delve into why you're holding on. Are you clinging out of genuine growth or is fear keeping you anchored? Is your attachment fueled by love and progress or fear and stagnation? Now picture this. You're in a river, wide and deep, symbolizing the quantum field. You're clinging to a rock, representing your current reality. The flow is trying to guide you to richer realities, but you're holding on, afraid of the unknown. Imagine downstream lie islands brimming with all you desire. Your reluctance to let go prevents you from reaching these havens. This journey is about shifting perspectives and tuning into these higher variations, seizing them for your gain. Just by pondering these insights, you've got access to the quantum flow. The quantum field is always signaling. Are you tuned in? Use these reflections to keep your quantum capitalist instincts sharp and your awareness keen to the field's natural nudges towards higher sectors. Lesson 24, The Anti-Flow. In the last chapter, we dove headfirst into the game changer called the quantum flow. Envision and harness those quantum currents ribboning through your reality. And suddenly, you're not just quantum capitalisting, you're in optimal human mode, baby. But pump the brakes for a hot minute. We're delving into the treacherous territory of the anti-flow. Cue dramatic music. There are twin culprits holding us back from the tantalizing promises of the quantum flow. Number one, that pesky attachment to something you're just too darn stubborn to release. The second, that role. Yes, that one. That's keeping you cemented in your current sector. Remember reality as this vast, powerful river with the quantum flow as the water currents, gushing, twisting, and turning. But, and it's a big but, there are these rocks. And you, you're clinging onto one, either because of some life event you've built up in your mind, or some role that's become your comfort blanket. If you're still struggling with the first type of rock, that important one, rewind and revisit the importance chapter. Because here's the thing, importance, that's the kryptonite to your quantum flow superpowers. The quantum flow, it's your ticket to that intergalactic evolution. But the matrix, that's the meddling meddler, forever pitching outdated tales and wonky standards that either have you waiting to win the lottery are playing a role that's way beneath quantum you. This lesson, we're shining a spotlight on those roles. Let's crack the code of the role that's been your anchor. Quick question. Felt a tinge of guilt for reaching for the stars recently? Or have you given capitalism in its traditional attire, the old stink eye? Or let envy and self-doubt fester? Newsflash. You're anchored to one of those rocks. Ready to cut the rope? Let's explore these roles. The needy beggar, waiting for handouts. Darling, the quantum field isn't hosting a charity ball. Radiating neediness while wanting more is like hoping for 5G in a dungeon. This role stems from an unfulfilled desire for constant attention and affirmation. Are you someone who constantly seeks approval from others, whether for your fashion choices, life decisions, or even daily Instagram posts? Is your self-worth heavily reliant on external validation? If so, this could be your rock. The indignant. Feeling wronged? News alert. The quantum field isn't indebted to you. This role stems from a deep-seated belief that the world owes you. Are you someone who always expects special treatment, be it cutting the line at a coffee shop or assuming you deserve the biggest slice of pie at a party? This sense of entitlement eclipses gratitude and understanding. 
If so, this could be your rock. The fighter. Got that eternal war paint on. Heads up. The universe isn't your opponent. Swap those fists for a strategy. This role stems from a chronic need to prove oneself, constantly feeling under threat. Are you someone who treats every discussion as a debate to be won, always on edge, ready to dispute? Are you always geared up, even when there's no battle to fight? If so, this could be your rock. The victim, feeling buried under life's weight. Shadows of the past dogging your steps. Time to soar, Phoenix style. Your destiny's calling, but it's on you to answer. This role stems from a narrative where one's life is a series of unfortunate events with you at the receiving end. Are you someone who, after facing a setback, always exclaims, why does this always happen to me? Instead of developing into quantum you, are you perpetually caught in the drama of your perceived misfortunes? While these roles might seem like background noise, they're actually blasting on the main speakers of your life. Stuck in a rut, but always hunting for reasons the universe is ghosting you? Ranting about the latest social justice hashtag? Bemoaning your lot? Thinking Lady Luck blocked your number? Or maybe waiting for the universe to serve you success a la carte while you chill on the couch? Honey, with that mindset, the quantum flow will divert around that rock quicker than you can say, I hate Elon Musk. Take this to heart. The quantum field is a treasure chest, not a battlefield. Ditch the drama. Move on from envy, resentment, and aggression. You can't run with the big dogs if you're stuck on the porch barking at shadows. After releasing yourself from the roles that are no longer serving you, dive into all you've learned. Maintain awareness of where your thoughts are lingering, the types of actions you're taking, and what your resident frequency is like. Being heavily involved in the matrix dulls all this, steering you away from the flow and into standard narratives. Give yourself a fighting chance here. Begin by cultivating luxurious thought loops, focusing on all that is good, all that is working, and all that is making your life beautiful. Listen to the quiet whispers of the quantum flow, transmitting information to you in moments of pause and stillness. You've absolutely got this if you can shift your perspective. Upgrade your diet, your workout routine, and your relationships. Begin to view reality, just for the time being, as a polarizing dynamic energetic field with both matrix information and frequencies, and quantum flow information and frequencies. Trust your instinct and check in with yourself. Are you tuning into the matrix or the quantum flow? The money shot, the ultimate code cracker. Your bank balance isn't just numbers. It's a reflection of where your mindset's at in the quantum field. Every moment you're stuck playing the victim, the needy, the indignant, or the fighter, you're tossing dollar bills into a cosmic shredder. Quantum capitalism is your insider tip to the quantum field's stock market. Now, ditch the rolls of old, and you're not just upgrading your mindset, you're unlocking the bank vault. Align with the quantum flow, and it's not just about feeling good. It's a calculated, smart strategy. Each mindset upgrade, that's you up in your net worth. So level up and let the quantum flow provide. The recap. Life ain't a sad story. The quantum field is not in the tissue business. Embrace quantum capitalism, navigate your destiny. Adjust, innovate, don't follow blindly. Let go of what holds you back. Poke the brain. What anti-flow role are you perpetuating? Is it adding to your life? Your next power move. Juggernaut journal exercise. Role reversal. One. Identify the role. 
put pen to paper and jot down moments from the past week where you've played the needy beggar, the indignant, the fighter, or the victim. Think about what triggered these behaviors and the outcomes they resulted in. Describe a situation where you exhibited one of these roles. What triggered it? Was there a specific incident or emotion? Two, analyze the impact. Now, focus on how that role impacted your decisions, your relationships, and most importantly, your alignment with the quantum flow. Assess if you've been blocking opportunities and prosperity by clinging to these outdated modes of operation. How did embodying this role affect your day? Did it push away potential opportunities or strain relationships? Did you feel in tune with the quantum flow or distant from it? Three, craft the upgrade. Here's where you switch gears. For every role you identified in step one, Script a new response or behavior that's aligned with the quantum flow. Envision yourself operating in this upgraded mode, feeling confident, connected, and in sync with profitability. Reimagine the situation from step one with your upgraded behavior. How would the quantum capitalist version of you have responded? How would this change in behavior realign you with the quantum flow? and influence the outcome. By taking the time to identify, analyze, and upgrade these behaviors, you're not only decluttering your mindset, but also paving the way for quantum capitalism to flourish in your life. Each reflection and proactive change brings you closer to aligning with the boundless potential and prosperity of the quantum flow. Lesson 25, Guiding Signs. Last round, we tackled the anti-flow, the cosmic chain around our ankles, pulling us away from our potential. Once you shed those weights, you're in the club. But I won't lie, being a newcomer can be dizzying. Which way do you go? Here's the thing, the quantum field is rich with signs, but don't turn this journey into a game of Spot the sign. Getting obsessed is a trap. Relax. Let it happen. Let me break it down. The quantum field doesn't speak in riddles. It communicates with signs. While some of you might equate them to random omens or chalk it up to mere superstitions, wise up. This is the quantum flow nudging you, trying to show you the path drenched in opportunity for expansion. Stay awake, watch out for these signs, and lean into those sensations that seem to resonate with your very essence. Recognizing guiding signs. Can you sense the atmospheric shift right before a thunderstorm? That's what these guiding signs are about, a hint of something changing. Watch, listen, feel. Intuition isn't just a fancy word. It's the compass you forgot you had. Start flexing that intuitive muscle, and it might lead you to the gold mine. Embracing guiding signs. Don't just recognize these signs. Embrace them like a lost love. They're your wake-up calls, saving you from pitfalls, or pushing you towards that big break, that random advice from a stranger, that recurring symbol in your dreams. Don't dismiss them. Lend an ear to your gut your intuition. It whispers tales of higher sectors. If only you'd listen. Interpreting signs wisely. You've got a message, but decoding it? Signs are about how your intuition responds. The sign itself is meaningless. It's what it evokes within you that matters. Remember, when faced with life's convoluted crossroads, follow your gut. It's your silent partner in your shift to those higher sectors. Embracing uncertainty and potential. Guess what? There's a beauty in not knowing everything. Your understanding of the guiding signs might be evolving, 
but trust in those delicate feelings that tickle your core. Let these signs be your allies, guiding your voyage through sectors, propelling you towards wealth and new prospects. The money shot. Hear that? That's the opening bell. You might wonder, how do cosmic nudges and intuition sync with cold, hard cash? Get ready for it. These guiding signs are like your personal stock market indicators for life. Just as traders make big bucks reading and predicting market signs, you can navigate life's opportunities with these universal cues. Each sign, each intuitive tug could be pointing you to a life-altering opportunity, a business deal, a career shift, or a venture that holds the potential for massive financial gain. Ignoring them? It's like leaving money on the table or worse, missing out on a blockbuster investment. Master this ancient yet modern skill, and you've hit pay dirt. Your ability to read and act on these signs can directly correlate with seizing opportunities for wealth. So, every time the quantum field drops a hint, Think of it as a potential gold coin gleaming in the distance. Your task? Spot it. Check in with what your intuition has to say and watch your prosperity multiply. The recap. Think of guiding signs as quantum road signs, guiding you through the unpredictable highway interchanges of life. They're your silent strategists, nudging you towards wise choices, steering you clear from dead ends and navigating you towards prosperous destinations. Poke the brain. Ready to challenge your status quo? How will you tune into the quantum field's whispers? Amplify your intuition, and let these guiding signs elevate your game in the realm of prosperity. Your next power move, a perception and juggernaut journal exercise, spotting cosmic nods. Objective, become attuned to a single sign that whispers an opportunity from the quantum field. Simplicity is the essence. Step one, setting your intention. Close your eyes for a moment and take a deep breath. Ask the quantum field, reveal a sign to me that guides me towards an opportunity. Visualize yourself effortlessly recognizing this sign. Hold on to that feeling for a moment, and then release it. Remember, it's a relaxed request, not a demand. Step two, release and trust. After setting your intention, let it go. Dive into your daily life without obsessing over signs. We can't force a sign to appear. It's about trust and patience. Step three, spotting the sign. Throughout your day, if something catches your attention or resonates with you in a peculiar way, it might be your sign. It could be anything. A line in a book, a casual comment from a friend, a recurring theme in your day. Note this down in your journal or a note on your phone. Step four, acknowledging the opportunity. Reflect on the sign you've noticed. Does it nudge you towards an opportunity? Maybe it sparks an idea or reminds you of a forgotten desire. Jot down any feelings, thoughts, or actions it inspires. If it doesn't immediately seem clear, that's okay too. Sometimes clarity emerges with time. The quantum field operates in its own rhythm, often intertwining signs within our everyday life. By setting an intention, and then releasing the need to control when or how the sign appears, we open ourselves up to serendipity. The key lies in balancing our intention with detachment. The quantum field has got your back. Trust in its timing and enjoy the wondrous journey of discovery. Lesson 26, internal guiding signs. Let's rewind a tad. Last round, we dived into those subtle, sometimes flashy, external signs. Subtle winks from the quantum field guiding our path to the upper sectors of reality. This chapter, 
we're diving deep into the pulse of those inner alerts. Ready to decode your internal signs? Life's a sassy teacher. It throws you hints, nudges, and if you're still acting dense, massive red flag signs screaming, change course. When you decide to revisit that old romantic relationship that drained you more than it filled you and you feel dread the moment you embrace or that anxiety that builds up as you prepare to meet a childhood buddy or the guilt creeping up as you binge watch that show for the umpteenth time. These aren't just random feelings. Nope, they're the quantum field's way of sending SMS notifications straight to your soul. Listen, the quantum field isn't always subtle. When things feel off kilter, when your gut wrenches, when anxiety beats at your door like an unpaid landlord, it's life shouting, hey you, wake up. It's about being in tune, in flow. And when you're not, well, life has its ways of reminding you. But why do we often refuse to acknowledge the signs? Why? Even when every bone in our body is screaming, let go, do we hold on with clenched fists? Because letting go is scary. But the paradox is, the tighter you grip, the scarier it sometimes gets. Cast your mind back to that moment when your inner bell rang louder than a morning alarm after a sleepless night. You heard it, but chose to slap the snooze button, marching on until you face planted realizing that while life held out a neon right arrow, you went left. Why? Old trauma, rusty programming, or just that darn comfy rut you've danced in for too long? Look, you might not know me from Adam, and my permission slip might not hold much value, but let's shake things up. Next time that inner alarm starts buzzing, listen, who knows? That might just be your golden ticket. The money shot, investing in your gut. Internal guiding signs can become your most trusted advisors on the journey to prosperity and higher sectors of existence. This isn't just about listening to your gut. It's about transforming intuition into action, turning whispers of potential into roars of success. Imagine your internal signs as the ultimate financial analysts. They don't just read markets. They read your life's patterns, emotions, and opportunities. When you experience a sinking feeling about a dead-end job or a flutter of excitement about a new venture, it's not random. It's your internal quantum system highlighting the stocks and shares of life's choices. Think of it as a sophisticated algorithm, uniquely calibrated to guide you toward the most prosperous paths. These signs are the secret code to unlocking wealth in its most holistic form. They nudge you away from energy draining endeavors and steer you toward activities and connections that amplify your personal and financial growth. It's a strategic shift from traditional wealth building to a more dynamic, intuitive approach, aligning with the quantum field's rhythm of prosperity. Every internal signal is an opportunity to recalibrate your route. It's about recognizing which doors to close and which windows to open, ensuring a constant flow of opportunities and growth. So as you navigate the day-to-day, -day, pay attention to these nuanced signals, both internal and external. Each one is a stepping stone to a richer, more vibrant reality where success is not just measured in material gains, but in the profound satisfaction of living in alignment with your intuition and potential. The recap. Life's a fun little game of reading between the lines. Both your personal life and your wallet benefit when you stop resisting and start listening. Poke the brain. Think about the biggest regret or missed opportunity of your life. What signs did you blatantly ignore? Your next power move. Juggernaut journal exercise, considering life's red flags. Objective. To cultivate awareness of the quantum field's nudges 
and apply intuitive insights to both personal and financial domains. Reflection and identification. Sit comfortably and close your eyes. Take three deep breaths to center yourself. Reflect on the past month. Think about moments when you felt uneasy, anxious, or had that nagging gut feeling. Now open your eyes and jot down three instances where you felt something within trying to send you a signal. This could be in personal relationships, career decisions, or financial moves. Decoding the signal. For each instance, answer the following questions. One, what were the exact emotions or feelings you experienced? Two, were there any external indicators or signs that accompanied this feeling? For example, a random message, a conversation you overheard, etc. Three, in hindsight, what do you think was trying to come through? Applying the insights. Reflect on how acknowledging and acting upon these signals could have, or did, change the outcome of the situation. Were there missed opportunities? Or perhaps you averted potential setbacks by heeding the signs. Forward-looking intuition. Close your eyes again and visualize the month ahead. Set an intention to be more receptive to both guiding and inner signs. Imagine yourself confidently navigating situations with your intuition as your compass. Commitment and closure. Write down a commitment statement in your journal. It could be something like, I trust and honor my intuition. I am open to the quantum field's guidance in all aspects of my life and I pledge to be more attuned to its signals as well as my own. Regular check-ins. At the end of each week, set aside a few minutes to revisit this exercise. Reflect on any new signals you've perceived and how you've responded. Adjust and refine your intuitive skills as needed. By actively engaging in this exercise, you'll find yourself more in sync with life's ebbs and flows. Not only will you be able to navigate personal challenges with more grace, but you'll also develop a keen sense for financial opportunities and pitfalls. Remember, intuition isn't about predicting the future. It's about confidently riding the wave of the present. Lesson 27, The Recalibration. Ah, brave soul, you've traversed the wilds of phase one, plunging into depths both mesmerizing and transformative. Let's pause, reflect, and ensure your roots are deeply entrenched in this newfound knowledge. If you sense a wobble, dare to dive back in for a second round, refine, and emerge triumphant. Our odyssey into quantum capitalism began with the audacious act of breaking free from the Matrix's numbing lullaby. Recognize this. The Matrix seeks to ensnare, desiring you remain entrapped, ignorant of your boundless potential. This is a dance of liberation, recognizing and evading the Matrix's snares that stifle and limit. Your initiation into the vast quantum field marked the dawn of true empowerment. Understand this duality the constrained, matrix-defined, and the boundless, quantum self. Comprehending their mechanisms, the realities each conjures, is your golden key. The quantum field extends a VIP invitation, but the question is, do you perceive your worthiness of the invite? Have you fine-tuned your guiding theory? Are those four qualifiers of navigation unlock? And the black holes, those reality-twisting vortexes, do they still pull you in? Or have you mastered the art of zero fucks? How about your importance levels? Are you keeping them in check? And disproportionate energy and the chaos it unleashes? Don't worry if it seems overwhelming. It's a new language. Go easy on you. Soon, these quantum laws will meld into your being as effortless as a heartbeat. This isn't a mere simulation though. You're on a trajectory, ascending to realms of prosperity 
are plummeting into scarcity. It's the principle behind wealth's exponential growth or rapid depletion. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. So where are you headed? Towards boundless prosperity or limiting paucity? Have you truly surrendered to the quantum flow or are remnants of the matrix's illusion still ensnaring you, luring you into a mirage of lack and limitation? And those guiding signs, do you now move with awakened clarity, bypassing the matrix's mirages and tuning into the quantum field's lush offerings? The recap, your journey has reached an electrifying crossroads Phase two beckons, promising an even grander evolved version of quantum you as you apply its lessons. But heed this, this alchemical system is mighty and transformative, yet it demands unwavering commitment. Let these teachings meld into your very essence or stay on the sidelines, believing it's all for someone else. Poke the brain, are you poised? ready to intensify your voyage, shed past constraints, and delve into the deeper enigmas of phase two? Your next power move, a juggernaut journal exercise, the recalibration. Objective, to reinforce and internalize the teachings from phase one of quantum capitalism, ensuring a strong foundation as you progress into the deeper revelations of phase two. Step one. The Matrix Self-Reflection Reflect on a recent situation where you felt entrapped by the Matrix. Note down the exact emotions and constraints you felt. Was it fear, doubt, or another limiting feeling? What would the higher version of you have done differently in that situation? Step 2. The Quantum Declaration Write down a personal declaration reminding yourself of your limitless potential within the quantum field. Example, I am boundless, beyond the matrix, and my potential is infinite. Step three, your guiding theory check. Review the four qualifiers of navigation. For each one, write a recent decision or action where you applied them. Reflect, are there areas where you need more practice or understanding? Step four, Black Hole Indifference Mastery. Recall a situation where you almost got sucked into a black hole. How did you escape its pull? Or did you succumb? Strategize. If faced with a similar situation again, what will you do differently to maintain your composure and not give in? Step five, importance levels. Calibration. Note down three things from the past week that you assigned high importance to. Reflect. Were they truly deserving of that importance? Think of ways you can recalibrate and reassign importance levels more efficiently in the future. Step six. Acknowledge the quantum flow. Close your eyes. Visualize the matrix's illusion slowly fading away, revealing the vast quantum field. Feel yourself being drawn towards its abundance. Ask yourself, are there any matrix remnants I still dysfunctionally cling to? Write them down and set an intention to release them. Step seven, the guiding signs journaling. Dedicate a page in your journal to document any guiding signs you've recently encountered. Reflect, how did these signs steer you toward any higher opportunities? Closing reflection. Revisit your initial state of mind from the beginning of phase one. Compare it to your current mindset. Write a short reflection on your growth, breakthroughs, and areas needing further exploration. With this exercise, you solidify the foundation built during phase one. The path to phase two will be clearer and more enriching when you're deeply rooted in the lessons of phase one. Celebrate your progress, and remember, every step forward in this quantum journey is a leap towards boundless prosperity. Lesson 28, Mirror, Mirror. 
think you've got a handle on reality? Time to rethink, friend, because we're dialing up the intensity on the awareness creates reality concept. Welcome to the game changer, the eye opener, the hidden track of life's album, the mirror world. Are you ready for the ultimate cosmic twerk off? Think your days are just a random jumble of events? Think again, those terse exchanges in the coffee line, unexpected acts of kindness, the sudden outpouring of affection. They're all part of a synchronized routine with the quantum field. You're not just moving to its beat, you're leading the dance. Life isn't a series of random events. It's a dynamic duet with the quantum field where your every action invites a mirrored response. But here's the catch. The field's response isn't always immediate. It's like a boomerang you've forgotten you through, coming back to you unexpectedly. Imagine skipping a pebble across a pond. The initial splash is instant, but the ripples spread, reaching far shores long after the stone has sunk. Similarly, your actions, whether noble or not, resonate like that pebble. The quantum field might take its time responding, echoing back your actions at the most unexpected moments. Here's where many stumble. They dabble in positive thinking for a short while and then dismiss it as ineffective when they don't see instant results. Or they observe a slight shift in their world, only to be blindsided by an event that leaves them puzzled, thinking, where did that come from? Welcome to the mysterious enigma of the mirror world. Life is the grandest of mirrors, consistently reflecting your thoughts, actions, and vibrations. Cast a shadow, and the universe mirrors it back. Radiate joy, and life brightens, akin to adding a perfect filter. Ever snapped at someone, then unexpectedly faced someone else's ire? That's life's quirky way of saying, gotcha, contrastingly, spread genuine kindness, assist someone or tip generously, and watch as life opens doors to the finest experiences. It's not just cosmic reciprocity, it's the mirror world in real-time action. So, as you navigate your day, remember, each act, each thought, is a choreographed step in the grand dance that is your experience of reality. The mirror world is ever-present ever responsive, echoing your moves in this cosmic dance hall. Meet Jake. One particular morning, Jake awakens enveloped in a cloud of irritability. He bypasses his usual pleasantries with his neighbor, opting instead for a scowl. Why is he always in such a good bloody mood, Jake wonders. As he hurries to work, the universe seems to conspire against him. His coffee betrays him, spilling over his crisp shirt, and then a minor fender bender pulling into the parking lot. Then in the office, his computer scowls at him too, with a sudden crash and loss of hours of work. And, as if in cahoots with his crappy mood, an important call slips through his fingers, and he loses a deal as a result. The day feels like a relentless echo of his morning mindset an unyielding reflection of his internal storm. But here's the script flip. The following day, Jake, aware of the downward spiral he set in motion, decides to turn it all around. He greets the dawn with a stretch and a smile, despite the residue of yesterday's chaos. He shares a genuine moment with his neighbor, replacing the scowl with a friendly nod and a few kind words attempting to relish in his neighbor's perpetual positivity instead. On his commute, he takes the scenic route, letting the beautiful scenery soothe his soul. As if by magic, Jake's day transforms. His boss, often indifferent, takes a moment to acknowledge Jake's hard work with unexpected praise. In his pocket, he discovers a long-forgotten hundred-dollar bill, as if the mind shift is winking at him. And the cherry on top? An unexpected call from an old client offering him a solid opportunity, brightening his day further. This shift in Jake's reality isn't just serendipity. It's a testament to the power of a positive focus and emotional consistency. 
it illustrates a crucial principle. The quantum field mirrors our thoughts, actions, vibrations, and our emotional states, sometimes instant, sometimes with a delay. The lesson here is profound, yet simple. The chaotic ups and downs of life are often a mirror of our inner turmoil. When Jake's world seemed unreliable, it wasn't the quantum field being a little bitch. It was a reflection of his own erratic emotional state. Jake's story teaches us that we're not just passive observers in life. We're active participants. Our emotional and mental states are like signals sent out into the mirror world, only to be reflected back in the form of experiences and encounters. So remember, influencing the quantum field isn't about control. It's about understanding and curating the energy you emit. Project negativity, and you'll find yourself alone in a gloomy theater of life, where the popcorn is stale and the audience is noisy. But approach life with positivity, grace, and a desire for goodness, and watch as the quantum field offers you a front row seat to a story that unfolds just as you wish. The Money Shot The Quantum Exchange Consider wealth and prosperity not merely as dollars in your bank, but as an energetic exchange with the quantum field. When you're stuck in a mindset of scarcity, constantly lamenting what you lack or resenting others for what they possess, the quantum field picks up on this frequency. It hears, I don't have enough. And guess what? It responds in kind, echoing back. Here's just a little bit. Why? because the quantum field delights in mirroring your tune right back at you. However, flip the narrative. Begin operating from a space of feeling as though you have plenty, even if your current circumstances suggest otherwise. When you invest in yourself, learn a new skill, appreciate small victories, or even give, be it time, money, or effort, without immediate expectation of return you're sending out a powerful signal. This says, I am prosperous, I am worthy, I am open to receive. And the quantum field? It listens and responds. Money is merely a tangible representation of an intangible concept, value. And the quantum field is the greatest arbitrator of value. When you genuinely believe in the value you bring to the table, in the worthiness of your skills, ideas, and ventures. You begin to align with opportunities that reflect this value back to you. Deals fall into place. Investments flourish. Unexpected avenues of income appear. But it's not magic. It's mirror. The quantum field simply reflects the value you see in yourself. To truly magnetize wealth, you don't need to chase money. You need to resonate with its frequency. The recap, your world is a high definition, responsive mirror. It doesn't just display, it delves deep, picking up your actions, intentions, emotions, and even the subtleties you forget. It might seem unpredictable, but in truth, it's just playing your tune. Poke the brain. If today was a reflection of your past actions, what kind of echoes are you setting up for your future? your next power move, the quantum mirror reflection. This exercise is designed to create a vivid and educational experience that helps you understand and visualize the power of the mirror world concept. It will guide you in observing the relationship between your internal state and the external world's responses. Step one, recall and reflect. Think back to a recent interaction or event where you noticed a clear response from your environment to your emotional state. Was it positive, like a smile from a stranger mirroring your own cheerful mood? Or was it negative, like an argument that escalated because of your agitation? Write down this event in your notebook. Step two, connect the dots. Draw connections between your internal state during that event and the external response it elicited. 
This is your personal demonstration of the mirror world in action. Reflect on how your thoughts, feelings, and vibrations might have influenced this interaction. Were you projecting positivity, negativity, or something else? Step three, the change experiment. For the next week, consciously alter your internal state before engaging with others or starting your day. Choose a state of being like calmness, kindness, or positivity. Observe how people and situations around you respond to this change. Note any differences in interactions, opportunities, and even your own feelings during the day. Write down your observations and any shifts in the quality of your experiences in your notebook. Conclusion. This exercise is designed to make you deeply aware of the reciprocal relationship between your internal state and the world around you. By actively participating in this experiment, you'll gain a visceral understanding of how the quantum field mirrors your internal world, empowering you to navigate life with greater awareness and intention. Remember, the world is a reflection of your inner state. Change the latter and watch the former transform. Lesson 29, your algorithm. In our last lesson on the mirror world, we've seen how life mirrors our projections. We've introduced this concept, but it runs deep observing the tangible impact of our thoughts and actions just scratches the surface. Now, we delve deeper, tuning your personal algorithm to align with your desired sector. Our mission? To attract what you truly crave and discard what's been holding you back. Think you've nailed the art of curating your Instagram feed. Cute. Let's now focus on curating the perfect reality feed. Like choosing the perfect filter, you're selecting life's tone. But are you consciously crafting your selection? Remember that day where a grumpy start spiraled into a series of misfortunes, like Jake in the last lesson. That's your negative algorithm at work. Your mood set the tone, and your reality echoed it back. Conversely, when you're riding high, your day reflects that too with unexpected joys and wins. This is no coincidence. It's the art of reality curation. If you're aiming for financial growth, but constantly dwell on scarcity, on what you lack, and how others surpass you, you're misaligning yourself from the prosperous reality you seek. Similarly, if you desire personal evolution, yet constantly ruminate over your flaws, fixate on your shortcomings, and project a fragmented, discordant self-image, you'll find progress elusive. Conversely, if you can pivot this mindset and start recognizing the overflow in your life, acknowledging your strengths, and affirming that you're on the right path, you initiate a transformative shift. By embracing these positive feelings and expanding them within, you effectively rewrite the code of your personal algorithm. This change broadcasts potent new signals to your environment, aligning you with those exact versions of reality you aspire to. This is the key to unlocking the life you envision. The bottom line, your experience of reality is shaped by your internal algorithm, a mix of thoughts, beliefs, feelings, emotions, and actions. This personal algorithm influences the quantum field's responses to you, functioning as life's feedback mechanism. Understanding which patterns serve you and which require modification is key to mastering this process. Counterproductive patterns, what not to do and when it's time for a change. Listen, doom and glooming, catastrophizing and woe is meing have got to fucking go. If you find yourself often expecting the worst, it's time for a cleanup, but that's not all. Comparing your life to others' highlights real can distort your sense of achievement. 
waking up without direction can lead to aimless days. Holding on to past hurts or constantly voicing grievances without seeking solutions keeps you stuck in a negative feedback loop. Feeling isolated, resisting change, surrounding yourself with negativity, anticipating the worst, or allowing past mistakes to overshadow your present. All these patterns can derail your journey to a better reality. Constructive patterns, reprogramming your mind for a better life, luxurious thinking, being delusionally positive and hyper-focusing on all that is good in your sector is your new jam, got it? Setting a clear, positive intention each morning can transform your day. Practicing gratitude and being present in every moment enhances your life quality. Continuous learning and connecting with nature contribute to your growth. Establishing healthy boundaries, mindful eating, engaging in joyful activities, using positive affirmations, and visualizing your goals are practices that can shape a fulfilling life. By identifying your prevailing patterns, you can make conscious choices that resonate with your desired experiences. Life reflects our internal algorithms. Adjusting them leads to enriched living. It's about recognizing and embracing the power we have to shape our reality. Just as we curate our online presence, we can curate our life experiences. So, are you ready to recode your algorithm and transform your experience of reality? The money shot, cashing in on your algorithm. Let's talk cold, hard cash. You want more of it, right? Now, consider your financial reality as an Instagram feed exclusively dedicated solely to wealth. The content, opportunities, investments, raises, savings, and all the financial gains we aspire to collect as humans. How you curate this wealth feed plays directly into how fat your wallet gets. When you curate your general life with positivity, confidence, and determination, you're not just improving your mood or relationships, you're directly impacting your financial future. Want to see more dollar signs in your life's feed? Adjust your inner wealth algorithm. Curate a mindset of prosperity. See the value in every experience. And trust that with the right mental tools, the ROI, return on intention, will be lucrative. Financial prosperity doesn't just stem from wise investments of money, but also from wise investments of thought and actions. Remember, in this grand market of life, you're both the broker and the asset. Make every thought count. The recap, your life isn't a series of random events. It's a carefully curated feed, influenced by your mindset and reactions. The events in your life, both good and bad, are often a reflection of your internal state. To change your outer world, start by tweaking your inner settings. Poke the brain. If your life was a social media platform, what kind of content would dominate your feed? Is it time for a digital detox or a new curation strategy? Your next power move, practical exercise, curate your reality challenge. Objective, to consciously influence the feed of your daily life by curating positive experiences, thoughts, and reactions. Instructions, morning tone setting, five minutes. Start each day by choosing a tone for your life's feed. It could be opportunity, prosperity, or determination. Post a note with the day's mood on your bathroom mirror. Daily content creation, 10 minutes throughout the day. When faced with a challenge, think, how can I frame this for my life's feed? Example, you keep running up against a problem at work. Could it actually align with the tone of opportunity you set? Maybe it's not a problem at all, but an opportunity to create a useful solution that all in your office would benefit from. Actively seek three positive experiences or moments in your day 
that align to the tone you've set. These could be as simple as a pat on the back at work, finding the solution to the problem that has perplexed you, or spotting a fresh offer for something that excites you. Snap a photo or jot down a note of these moments, representing a post to your life's feed. Evening reflection, five minutes. Review your posts for the day. Think about how they made you feel and how they contributed to the overall theme or tone you set for the day. Adjusting the algorithm, 10 minutes on the last day. What can you adjust in your algorithm to improve your feed next week? Celebrate the positive themes and patterns. These are the trending tones in your life that you'll want to keep amplifying. Lesson 30, Boomerang. In our previous lesson, we dived deep into shaping the algorithm of your life. We talked about setting a tone, spotting aligned events, and dialing into your desired vibe. Now, it's time to reverse it. We're going to examine what we're projecting to the world mirror. See, the world mirror is like a two-way street functioning in dual directions. Feels complex? Hang tight. I've got your back. On one side, there's the world, flinging a multitude of experiences your way. From this vast array, you cherry pick what to zoom in on, crafting your internal ambience, which in turn shapes your reality even more. This is the magic of multiplication. The more you focus on something, the more of it you seem to attract. Then there's the other side, the proactive stance. Here, you're the initiator, releasing into the world the images, events, and vibes you wish to see more of. We term this the boomerang effect. Intrigued? There are two core facets to understanding the mirror world's dual dynamics. One, observation. Noting what you're seeing and deliberately tuning into what resonates with your desires. Two, initiation. Mindfully dispatching into the world the energy, actions, or vibes you wish to amplify. Picture it as a boomerang toss. You fling it out, the quantum field sends it back amped up, and then you consciously choose to engage with it. This cycle is not just perpetual, it's potent serving as the engine that propels your desired energies within your reality. To manifest a desire, you need to recognize its presence in your world, no matter how tiny, while simultaneously emitting that exact energy. Example, let's say you're feeling a lack of opportunities. Your task? Spot even the tiniest openings around you while simultaneously creating opportunities for others. This simple act stirs the energy of opportunity, making it ripple, expand, and then snowball. Glitch, that incessant chatter in your mind. It's like a hyperactive child on a sugar binge, always leaning towards mischief. For many of us, this inner monologue tends to drone on about our fears, dislikes, and all the undesirable facets of our lives. Evolution has hardwired our brains to zone in on potential threats, making us hyper alert to pitfalls in our everyday activities. Let's face it, if our ancestors were perpetually distracted by every beautiful butterfly or rainbow, they might have missed the lurking dangers. And well, we might not be here. However, those tangible threats of yesteryears, like imminent predators, or the looming cold of winter aren't prevalent concerns today. Yet, here's the twist. Many of us are still broadcasting these fear-based, scarcity-driven vibes into our realities. And the result? We remain caught in a mental whirlpool, oscillating on a frequency of negativity. Let's paint a picture here. Imagine your mindset is your home. If you're stuck in a loop of complaining about your current digs, well, 
You're just packing those nasty feelings in your suitcase and sending them over to your future reality. So that dream house you're moving into, expect it to come with leaky pipes and annoying neighbors. And that fat paycheck you just started earning, watch it disappear under a pile of unexpected expenses. Whatever energy you put out there, good vibes or bad vibes, it's going to come back at you, just like a boomerang. Your mindset, your vibe, is the power behind your throw. So, if you want to shift your life, if you're looking to fill up that bank account, or just have a better life, you gotta change the frequency of your thoughts. First off, give your present circumstances a big, warm hug. Let go of that whiny dissatisfaction and go on a scavenger hunt for joy. Express some gratitude for the things you have now and let it radiate like a dang lighthouse. This positive energy, it's gonna act as your beacon for better opportunities. Second, imagine your best life like you're watching it in a movie. Visualize the home you want, the money you want. Go window shopping for beautiful homes, take a financial planning course, and immerse yourself in thoughts of the things you intend to have. Keep in mind, you usually get what you think about the most. Your thoughts, they're boomerangs waiting to be thrown. Lastly, keep a check on the energy you're pushing out. Firing off a rant at someone? You can bet your boots that you'll soon stumble into some trouble. Every time you let off negative steam, you're basically stepping onto a path littered with some bullshit. So, do yourself a favor and keep that energy positive. The money shot. Fake or financially sound? Maintaining positivity and choosing to focus on the positive in any scenario doesn't have to be contrived or seem fake. What you focus on exponentially increases in your realm of reality. So view this as a valuable investment in the bank of life rather than as forced happiness. Quantum capitalism isn't asking you to pretend or act like someone other than yourself. This is about choosing to concentrate on the good in your world and avoiding anything that might lower your mood, frequency, and mindset. Engaging with reality in a negative way offers no benefits. If you aspire for more and better for yourself, you'll need to evolve your thoughts, period. The recap. Your thoughts, feelings, and reactions. They're like boomerangs. They'll swing right back at you, shaping the kind of life you lead. If you're dreaming of the sweet life, flush with opportunity and wealth, tune your thoughts to the frequency of positivity. Embrace the present moment, express gratitude, think about your success, and keep a leash on your negative reactions to ensure your boomerang brings back stuff you can actually use to create your ideal reality. Again, you don't have to force anything to the point of feeling like a fraud. Continuing to be an asshole, however, isn't going to help you evolve to higher sectors either. Poke the brain. What frequency are your thoughts buzzing on? Is it time to tweak your mental radio for a station playing the tunes of success and prosperity? Your next power move. Thought and juggernaut journal exercise. Boomerang boot camp. Objective. To become hyper aware of your thoughts ensuring you're releasing positive boomerangs and prepping yourself for prosperous returns. Duration, one week with potential to make it a lifelong habit. Instructions, one, morning declaration. Start each day by choosing a positive statement that resonates with you. This statement or declaration could be, today, I attract success and prosperity. Repeat it aloud 10 times really feeling its truth within you. This primes your mind to release similar frequency boomerangs. Two, thought trackers. K, 
carry your juggernaut journal or use your mobile to track your thoughts. Divide a page into two columns, positive boomerangs and negative boomerangs. Every time you have a significant thought, jot it down in the appropriate column. Three, positive pivot practice. Whenever you catch a negative thought, challenge yourself to pivot. Find a way to rephrase it or shift your focus to something positive. For instance, I hate Elon Musk, pivot to. I want to learn how to embody the more positive characteristics of Elon Musk. Four, evening reflection. Review your thought tracker. Notice any patterns? Are there triggers for negativity that you can avoid or address? Celebrate the positive boomerangs you released and recognize your efforts in pivoting from the negative ones. Five, visualize victory. Close your eyes and imagine yourself throwing out a boomerang loaded up with all the best parts of you. Visualize it coming back to you, loaded with success, prosperity, and exciting opportunities. Feel the joy of receiving this boomerang back. The wrap up. At the end of the week, check the balance of your positive versus negative boomerangs. Hopefully, you'll notice an increase in positive ones. Celebrate this shift. Remember, you're training your brain to be an expert boomerang thrower. Ensuring your returns are always beneficial. This might happen quickly, and it might take time. Try not to focus on the results, yet stay consistent in what you are throwing out. Master the throw, and you'll master the game of life.